I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, we're the, the Crafty, Crafty Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. Today we're getting crafty for Valentine's Day. We're taking some wood blanks and giving them a glow up uh, using our Maker X. Yeah, we're gonna keep things kind of minimal and simple and use non-traditional Valentine's Day colors, but you use whatever colors fit your aesthetic best. Yes, we love decorating for uh, Valentine's Day, but this year it seems like it snuck up on us. Yeah. So we just wanna keep it simple. For our first project, we're taking a wooden tray and cross-stitching a heart to it. We're gonna be using our rotary tool. Yes, this is uh, really simple and actually we've done this before, but typically we do it on a canvas. You really just wanna make sure you are drilling the outside holes of the pattern. We actually even provided uh, or created a free template that you can use if you're going to make one because it can be a bit of a mind scramble. Yes, we'll put it in the link below. All right, so then we wanted to sand it just because you don't wanna get any of that yarn caught in it. That would be, you know, a trap. Yeah. Yes, that would God, be awful. So yes, that. and because sometimes when you drill, you're gonna get those splinters. So it's just always a good idea to, to uh, sand down your wood. So we doubled the yarn and then started at one point and then d went directly across to the other point and just continued that pattern until we completed the whole heart. Yes, it's really simple. We decided to use double yarn for this, but of course use what you have. We actually used to uh, teach Class, uh, craft classes in Manhattan. And this was one of our projects that we did with our class. Yes. Uh, they had a great time. People really love this one just cause you can really put your own spin on it. I mean, this is a great project too. If you want to uh, make your own uh, image, as long as it's simple, it should work. Yes, totally. And then uh, we've made so many projects using these wood trays. We oh get them gosh. at Michael's. <laughs> uh, they're just so easy and so fun to kind of uh, put your own spin on them. But we love how it turned out. It's I a great it's so neutral. Cute easy look. It doesn't scream Valentine's no, Day. No, I think you could leave it out all year, really. But totally. So cute. For our next project, we wanted to create a garland using these adorable wooden hearts that we found at the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna be using a rotary tool again for this and our airbrush. Yes, we love working with our airbrush so much. We um, wanted to protect the wood uh, slice before drilling. So we used some painter's tape to wrap it around the heart there. Yeah, but then we got the idea to maybe stack them just to make <laughs> it a little easier. And then we just started wrapping more painter's tape. Yes, so we, use we a lot always of go tape crazy with our painter's tape. But the painter's tape does help splintering, especially for really thin pieces of wood so you know yes we have to get uh, more painter tape. we need more painter <laughs> yes right now. always constantly we love painter tape so then uh the big reveal here just to see the holes <laughs> yeah and actually uh, they turned out really well we didn't even have to sand them or anything they yeah it looked really, really good we wanted to mimic conversation hearts, so we pulled out our Cricut Maker and made stencils with words. Yeah, we were gonna go, you know, like the cute route, the traditional route, but then we were kind of in a mood, so then we just kind of put those, uh, you know. Those Feelings onto on. the stencil. And I think it came out really yes, good. Yes, it looked really great. And that's a great thing. You can really customize it to like what you want to say on it. But you don't have to have a Cricut for this. You can actually use sticker letters. Yeah, you would get the same effect, or you could uh, stencil some words on after, or if you have great penmanship, you could do that too. Yes, use a paint marker, you know, use what you have, get creative, get crafty, um, you know, and put those feelings into your craft. Yes. <laughs> so now here we're just transferring our stencils to the wood slice before airbrushing. We made sure that it was on there nice and uh, snugly. Yeah, just make sure you press it down really well just so it doesn't bleed. All right, now it's our favorite part, the airbrush. We yes, we're using a paint we found online specifically for airbrushing. Yeah, and you really don't need a lot of paint. That's the great thing. So here's a good tip. Cut a paper bag and leave the walls up of it. And that way, just, you know, there's not a lot of splatter usually, but it'll just help, especially if you're airbrushing indoors. Yes, and here we, we actually don't um, rinse out in, in between colors. We actually load the other paint color right into the, to the airbrush there and then let it spray out until the color comes out. Yes, I think it could tip that we learned after doing this is start with your lightest color and then go darkest. I saved the pink for last and then it turned more maroon, but we actually ended up liking it. Yes, uh, you know, Alana said she was talking about crafting. You live, you learn. And once it was completely dry, we were ready for the big reveal. Yes, oh we were gosh. worried how this was gonna turn out, yes. but it ended up looking really, really great. I know, very clean lines. It looks so good. Yes, and then we just strung it up with a, um, some string that we had. We used painter's tape on oh the end of the string God, to help thread it through, um, you know, and get creative here. You can add beads, tassels, whatever you want. And of course, Teddy loved it. Look at his face. He just loved this craft. Yes, we captured his entire essence in this garland. Yes, if you've had a cat, I feel like this is the perfect garland for you because you know, it's that's the cat's feeling. Right? <laughs> yes, you'll everything. do. Yeah, as yeah. long as you feed me. Meh. Meow. 
We really love how these both turned out. Let us know in a comment below. Do you like to decorate more cutesy bootsy for Valentine's Day or do you like minimal and modern or do you just hate the whole holiday in general? <laughs> yes, we also want to hear from you. If you want to see more about our Maker X because we've been loving it, give us a like, subscribe because we are needing We're needy. help. Um, you know, and we'll see you soon. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. You have your space in need of some sprucing. Couple of guys worth introducing. They know their way around the craft store. Finding deals and oh so much more. What should you put in your kitchen nook? Trust Dennis and Andrew. They wrote the book. A little bit of glitter and creativity. Crafting up some fun is their cup of tea. Bring your hot glue gun. Grab some snacks. Time to get artsy with the Crafty Lumberjacks. Can't read my cue card.